Hi everyone, welcome. So today I'm going to teach you how to slides link to another slide. So in this example, I'm kind of playing around with what I'll be doing with my students and how I'll be presenting their work for their asynchronous activities. So for me personally, I'm thinking maybe providing like a daily activity board of the things that I would like them to do broken down by subject. So by clicking math, I would be able to forward them to the, the math activity board. I've also included a screenshot here of the original uh, subject content choice activity board where they can click back to go there. Language arts. I've even um, linked the following slide so that they can look at the uh, circle map here. So I'm going to show you how to link uh, one of your images uh, to another slide. So we'll start with science. So I have yet to fill it out, but I would like students to be able to click this and head over there. So I'm going to click that image, go to insert, go down to link. And here it says slides in this presentation. So you can click that and scroll down. And I already titled that slide. At some of these slides, there is no title for some reason, um, but this one did kind of pop up. So, and just to double check, I can come to the left and slide down and check the number. So I'm choosing seven and I'm going to click apply. If you don't click apply, it will not work. So please click apply and then it will be enabled so you'll be able to click there and go wherever you would like. Um, so here I've also um, linked the slide number three. Uh, so if I would like to change that, maybe I accidentally clicked the wrong slide, I can remove link. And for this I just took a screenshot of uh, my daily activity board and from my desktop I drop that in so that students could kind of have their home page. So again, you can click that image, insert, click link, slides in this presentation, scroll down to whichever one, just to make sure I'm going to look and say, oh, it's slide three. So I'm going to click slide three and press apply. Okay. Uh, so I hope this has been helpful and uh, I will create another video with some more ideas of how we can edit and add things to um, our activity board, such as GIFs. Uh, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> Do remember to like and subscribe so that I make more videos like these. And so other teachers, hopefully, or people that can use this information will be able to find my videos. See you next time.